Good evening. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Don Hasbrook. A frightening experience for a woman living in Old Town, a man who broke into her apartment and stole her things while she was sleeping just inches away from him. Fox 32's Elizabeth Matthews joins us live from the 18th District Police Station with the victim's story. Elizabeth. Jeff and Don, the victim filed a police report here at the 18th District. Police say they are investigating, don't yet have anyone in custody. Tonight, the victim says she wants the man off the streets, but needs your help identifying him. Definitely still scared. It's a strange feeling to not be able to come to your own home. Um, even during the daytime or, you know, think that he could be watching me. Allie, who doesn't want us to identify her by her last name, was asleep Sunday morning when a man got into her apartment and came within inches of her, stealing her belongings. Building surveillance cameras capture the man carrying a large pocket knife and a backpack at the front door of the Old Town building. You see him try to dial her number, but she doesn't answer. Less than a minute later, he follows two others inside and walks down the hall straight to her door, which was unlocked. Kind of listens at the door, um, comes in, and you can see him just waiting. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing he was waiting to see if I was awake or could hear me or I noticed he was there. Allie says she never woke up while the stranger was inside her small studio apartment, but reports several things are missing, like a credit card and a bag which held her work ID and a friend's passport. I don't know what else he did when he was in here, but... He was at least standing right here while I was sleeping. The cameras show he was in Allie's apartment for only a few minutes before leaving the building, putting a piece of paper in the front door, making it easier to get back inside. Allie says her life has been turned upside down and doesn't want it to happen to anyone else. I just want him to know that I know that it happened and I know what he looks like and I want people to be looking for him. The suspect didn't take other obvious high-priced items like a MacBook laptop that was sitting right next to the bag that he did steal. The victim says that he's already used her credit card at places like Walgreens, a McDonald's, and a gas station. Don, back to you. Elizabeth Matthews, thank you.